right, we're back. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. This is Railcoon and Prodigy uh, for IC Cup Television. And we've got Idra versus Shouty. We can see that NV Shouty is going to be the red Protoss in the bottom left-hand corner. His opponent is going to be the one, the only, the EG Idra, the Graken, as the blue Zerg in the top right. So we do have cross positions on Taldari Malter. This is, of course, Star Gigabyte Stars War number six. Uh, sponsored by Gigabyte. You can visit them at gigabyte.com and their killer line of gaming motherboards that are top of the end products you should definitely be checking out if you're looking to build a computer or just replace the guts of it. So, uh, cross positions, Idriverse Shouty, Taldry Malter. I'm excited. What about you, Prodigy? Uh, I'm going to be watching Idra versus Shouty. Idra, of course, the Graken, and Shouty is just an absolute beast, best ladder player in the world. And they're going to be in cross positions in Taldarim Altar. And uh, based on everything I know about StarCraft, as far as I can tell, as far as uh, just normal ladder maps are concerned, this is pretty much the best scenario you could possibly get for a macro game. Yeah, and look at the placement by Shouty. He's got his pylon up here at the natural. If you look at the power field, even after the change, he's got that place so well. It goes right up against the Vespine Geyser. He can place this forge right next to the ramp, and the power field just touches the other side of that choke point. So he's got a perfect triangle set up here. He can set up whatever kind of a Sim City that he wants. And then these were played um, after the patch, so the power radius on the pylons were changed. Uh, that does change the placement a decent amount, but uh, Shouty gets that right on. Looks like he's going to be going for that really fast Nexus, so definitely macro opening from him. We do have a pool first from Idra on Tall Dream. Uh, so he's going to be going with the same thing that we saw Maro going for, just a safer opening. But I would not expect to see Idra get caught with his pants down, not having uh, spine crawlers, not having a roach horn. Uh, Indra is a really good player who scouts very effectively. D despite how much he complains how hard it is for Zergs to scout, he somehow manages to get it done. Uh, I would expect him to stay in this game longer than Morrow managed to against Love PT. Yeah, definitely. There is a reason why they call him the Grack, and he's made uh, numerous runs in GSL that were quite successful. And, uh, you know, he's EG Idra. You're, if you don't know who he is, you probably haven't been in the StarCraft community or paying much attention to it for quite some time. And uh, Shouty, I mean, he's just scary all around. So right now Idra's going to be trying to chase down a poor probe here at the top left corner of Taldry Malter. And that probe, it, its fate is pretty much sealed at this point. Those Zerglings are going to close and get a few more pokes in it. Meanwhile, back to talk about things that actually matter. We've got uh, another gateway going down here. At the natural expansion of Shouty, he's only thrown down a single photon cannon, not to worry about any early aggression quite yet. And uh, second gateway before any cybernetics core, definitely an interesting opening coming out of Shouty here. Yeah, especially since he has the second assimilator already, if you check that out. Uh, he's going to be able to start both the gases, and he's going to uh, wait and see if he's going to put any probes on it. He hasn't started that just yet, but uh, most players actually wait until their cybernetics core is almost done to start that second gas, but... He started it much sooner. He's going to be able to switch onto the gas any moment, maybe. <laughs> I thought he was going to be going for some really high gas uh, strategy, and then he just waited a long time to put the probes on it. If you look at this, though, uh, he's starting to mine that assimilator right about the same time that most people start building it. So he's still going to get a little bit of boost in his gas income. Possibly maybe see some form of a starport opening. Those can be quite good on this map since it is so big. Getting those phoenixes on the map to scout and do harassment can work very well. But Idra, Idra, Idra canceled his hatchery and is now making what? a lot of roaches. Idra, we have been seeing him go for those all-ins recently. He's really trying to mix up his style of play, be unpredictable. And especially since he is so well known, that is extremely important. The roaches are streaming all the way across the map and he's reinforcing with a lot of zerglings. Zergly speed is already done. As you mentioned previously, there's only two cannons here at the natural of Shouty. He only has two sentries behind that. So Shouty's defenses are very minimal right now. And he did just start a Stargate. So that's really going to cut into his ability to reinforce this. Uh, his warp gates aren't even close to done since he did delayed that Cyber Dice Core. This uh, all-in by Indra does have a very good chance of doing damage here. 
Yeah, Shouty has absolutely no idea that this is coming, and Idra is immediately going to run in and try to focus down that first cannon. Single force shield is going to go down to try and put a little bit of distance to get those roaches out of range, but he will be able to still take down that cannon and is now immediately going to be working down the gateway. Wants to uh, take that down, so he uh, really cuts into the production of Shouty as well as makes a hole for his Zerglings to run in. There goes the gateway, and Shouty is immediately going to replace that. Uh, Idra is going to focus that down very quickly, and will the Zerglings get in once again? No, Shouty is going to block it again. Idra desperately trying to get in here. Shouty knows that if those Zerglings get in, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Excellent force shield is going to go down. Very solid defense by Shouty so far. Yeah, he did have that start get done, but he waited quite a while to start that Void Ray. If he had been doing all this great delay play while he had a Void Ray on the way, he might have been able to hold this to see him setting up another wall behind that. So this is about the third layer of defense for Shouty. He has killed a lot of units. Those cannons are really going to town on top of the sentries and the stalkers. Idra's running out of units. Look at this Shouty with just a couple units with no warp gates. Looks like he is going to hold this off. The Void Ray just finished, Warp Gates did as well, so he's going to be able to defend this much more easily. Idra, realizing that he is in a bit of trouble, has started a hatchery at his natural again, but uh, once the gateways do start to warp into Warp Gates, he realizes there's no real way he can hold this. Uh, and he does throw out the GG, so shouts he's going to take the first game. Idra's cheese did not work. Yeah, and you remember how at the start I was all hyping that we would see a macro game? <laughs> yeah, me too. And you know, I have to say, it was, it was a really good attempt by Idra, and had Shouty made a single mistake there, if he had missed throwing down that gateway even by another half of a second, then the game would have been over right there. So just oh, yeah. excellent defense by Shouty overall, and that was just so close to working for Idra. He had so many clutch gateway um, placements there. It is actually really difficult to place those gateways when there's Zerg units swarming all over on top of them. He basically had that gateway um, open up on his probe and just spam clicking so he could build it as soon as it died. He did that successfully about three times, and it's way harder to do than it looks when there's Zerglings all over the place. Uh, he had some really clutch force fields. It was a just a really great defense by Shao Tsi. Uh, so we'll be moving on to game number two here in just a moment. Oh my god. Uh, somebody in chat calling that the Great Wall of China. You're you're not kidding. That was that really was, well that's, done. That's amazing. <laughs> that's 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 gonna win the award for best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> and I and I've been on Reddit all day, so well played, sir. Yeah, that shoutouts there go to Mr. Incognito for that one. <laughs> 